Hi guys, Ron Farrell 73 with a small video on some music pickups that I had recently picked up. First up is a, a mail order pickup from Collector's Choice Music and first of all I want to start off by saying that I'm not going to get into the habit of collecting this type of format even though I've got the, some of them which is pretty much used and stuff but uh, it's just gotten, it's just uh, really expensive, but I just had to pick this up because I already have all of their CDs. And this is the Pantera uh, Complete Studio Albums Vinyl Box Set 1990 to 2000. And this is on collared vinyl, and it comes with a 7 inch single of. Uh, the song Piss, which was the bonus track on the uh, special edition of Cal Vulgar Display of Power, which came out in 2012, and uh, the song Avoid the Light from the Dracula 2000 soundtrack. Cowboys from Hell from 1990. And uh, I listened to part of it, and uh, comes on white vinyl, which is pretty cool. Vulgar display of power. This was when they started to get uh, pretty heavy. And I'm well aware of their earlier stuff, which is uh, pretty much rare and hard to find. And I know they start out as sort of a glam type band, but uh, they started to grow. And uh, we're talking classic right here. And it comes on uh, red vinyl. Far Beyond Driven, which is to me their best one. It's got uh, all the hits on here. Five Minutes Alone, Becoming, I'm Broken, and their cover of Planet Caravan, which is pretty cool. And the uh, vinyl is blue here. Great Southern Trend Kill from 96, which is uh, another excellent uh, CD, f which is another excellent release from them and pretty underrated. There's only like one video from this. Uh, album that they had made and which which is Drag the Waters and I remember hearing Suicide Note Part 2 on the radio which is a pretty cool song no, or Suicide Note Part 1 apparently the first one's Suicide Note Part 1's not on here which is really odd haven't listened to this yet and uh it comes with a uh, cool looking uh, sleeve uh, with lyrics. And the uh, vinyl's a uh, gold. And the band's last one, Reinventing the Steel which came out in 2000 and saw this band twice around this time. Saw, well, saw them at OzFest in 2000 and saw them a year later on the Extreme Steel Tour, which was an excellent tour. <clears throat> it was them, Slayer, Static X, Morbid Angel as support, and a uh, band that came and went, which was pretty good, called Scrape. and. Comes in green vinyl, I mean orange vinyl. And here's the uh, seven inch single with, uh, <clears throat> uh, with piss and avoid the light. And the vinyl is yellow. And uh, it's just, uh, pr it's definitely pretty cool, but like I said, I'm not going to get into the habit of buying everything, every new release on vinyl, because it's just uh, too damn expensive. <clears throat> anyway, 
it. I've got a couple more CDs here to show. Next up is Testament's Return to the Apocalyptic City, and I got this used off of Amazon, and this is a six-song EP, five live songs, and an edited version of one of the songs from The Ritual from 1992, and uh, this is a pretty good EP. And last but not least, this is one of three of Black Sabbath's deluxe editions. I got this uh, I got this at Walmart yesterday and this is the deluxe edition of their uh, debut. And I've only listened to the uh, bonus tracks on the second disc. It's got uh, studio outtakes of a couple of the songs which uh, I didn't think was much different from the original versions. Instrumentals, two alternate versions, and it's just a really cool addition. The uh, gatefolds, cool looking. And I definitely will be getting around to getting the other two editions in the future. That's uh, been it for this video. Ron here saying take care and happy Valentine's Day weekend.